Hey guys, welcome back to Seller Sessions. Again, we bring in our friend Lee Ran. How are you doing? Doing great, thank you. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to talk about a few more features again today, uh, starting with the new coupon feature. So do you want to give me a full breakdown on what that's about? Sure. Yep. So uh, you'll notice that uh, you have this in your Seller Central account, a uh, new coupon feature under the uh, Advertising tab. Uh, it's something you can use if you have Brand Registry 2.0, uh, which means you know you need a trademark uh, to brand register. Um, and essentially what this uh, feature is, it allows you to take uh, either one ASIN or a group of ASIN. Um, it would be recommended to do related products if, if you do a group um, and create a coupon that would be either a uh, percentage off or a uh, dollar off coupon that customers can actually clip in a sense, the coupon, um, and it'll be this like coupon badge on your listing. Um, the uh, cool opportunity with it is one, you get this badge on your listing. So I imagine early on, if not a lot of people are gonna start using it yet, that you'll be able to get a higher click-through rate when you have this uh, badge on your um, listing. And maybe as more and more FBA sellers start utilizing it, and more and more people have brand registry, um, that customers might get some kind of coupon blindness, right? It may not click right away because more listings will have it. But I think early on, it's a good opportunity to be able to get that badge on your listing while not every seller has Brand Registry 2.0. So essentially the way it works is you can create a um, percentage off or dollar off um, coupon. And so um, let's say your product, uh, let's say you're gonna give a $5 off on your product. You can create a budget of $50, which means once $50 worth of coupons are grabbed by customers, are clipped, then um, essentially the coupon will stop showing up on the page. Um, one thing you'll want to take into account is if you do set that $5 and you wanna give it to 10 customers at $50, you'll wanna add in the Amazon fee for it. So this feature will have a fee, which is 60 cents per redemption. So that means if you wanna give it to 10 customers, $5, um, at 60 cents each to 10 customers, it's another $6. So you'll want to create a budget of $56 where um, once that budget is gone, the coupon will not show anymore. Um, the interesting thing about the way this is set up is that you can target this to all customers who can see this. You can also choose only prime customers. Um, you can choose only customers that have bought from you from in the past. So if you have products like supplements or something that people are you know, buying over and over again, that's a great thing to maybe run on a very consistent basis where your existing customers only would see that coupon code, that, that coupon badge on your listing. And you can also target it towards uh, people who have looked and viewed other ASINs. So you know, if they viewed your competition and then they've clicked on your listing, now they see this badge there where other people wouldn't, right? So it's kind of interesting. I think you'll probably want to experiment and play around with it. Um, I've just set up my first one, um, and it does take about four days for it to go live. So it hasn't gone live yet. So it's but running on coal, basically, then? It's what's that? It's running on coal at the moment. It takes four days to go live. They've got to throw coal on the fire. No, <laughs> yes. In, in all seriousness, um, how are you setting this up? So you're, I know it's taken four days got any data for us what was the steps that you took and what was your approach to uh, for you setting it up yeah so the the, the first one I, I'm setting up is I, I just took one of one of my uh, one of my products it has variations so I set this up as a as a group um, and you can give it like a, a title so you know get uh, five dollars off our collection of this or, or uh, on our this product you can kind of give it a name with some with some text there and uh, the one I'm testing out is just giving it to all customers, right? Because I just want to see, throw kind of a wide net and see how it performs. But what I'm also going to do is uh, I might test out, let's say, a higher percentage offer to my past customers who have bought the product. So, uh, so one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, competing ASINs and target people who have looked at other people's products um, and then um, give a coupon code for when people click on um, or look at my listing for uh, and so that they can see that... Uh, that badge. So uh, one of the ideas that, that I have to uh, look at that is I'm going to go look at my um, uh, product display ads, for example, and see uh, who I'm targeting for product display ads and look at those competing uh, ASINs and also look at conversions, right? So if I've had a good conversion being on somebody else's listing, I'm going to probably take those to start with 
and see if I can target those customers that have looked at my competition and I know they've converted well, maybe give them, you know, a slight additional benefit to, um, to buy, which may also increase my performance of those product display ads, right? Because now if they've, they're looking at a, they're looking at another ASIN, my product display ad is there. They click on the product display ad. Now they see it now along with that, they see a badge, right? So I think, I think the combo can actually increase my conversions on my, uh, on my product display advertising, which is kind of a, um, unique angle to, to, to really target your, your competition by not only having the customers who look at them, you know, and then potentially find your product in another way, but actually target those specific ASINs with product display ads, plus the coupon for kind of like a, a double, double attack strategy to, uh, you know, to increase the conversion off those uh, product display ads. Yeah, definitely. I mean, with the rise in um, in cost in terms of sponsored ads now and the threat of the right rail going away, we need more stuff coming into play. Now, staying on subject here, playing devil's advocate, we know that we've generated quite a lot of success from sending external traffic, storefront URLs and stuff like that, as we've discussed previously Mm -hmm. on, on previous episodes. Do you think that Amazon is trying to close the loop and control here, maybe get rid of those kind of coupon codes? Or, you know, you mentioned in the last show that Amazon is going to be measuring outside traffic. So that's one step to close the loop. And then obviously this step here. What's your right. thoughts on that? So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely something to, to consider that, you know, at some point, you know, the two-step URL and, and some of the things that we're, we're doing in order to rank products um, might go away. Um, and so, yeah, you know, this is just another way where Amazon gives you the opportunity to create a discount in a sense, but doing it within the system, um, you know, as opposed to a, uh, a promo code, right. That you give and that, that you would kind of send to a, a unique URL. So, um, it's definitely something that's been on my, on my mind. And, you know, we'll talk, we'll talk also about the, um, social media, um, promos, which mm-hmm. also is a unique URL that you can't change. Mm-hmm. Um, so again, it seems to be a little bit more control from Amazon side on, um, you know, on links. So, so it, let's back uh, let's back up a bit here because yep. obviously we've gone from the coupon feature, and now we're talking about the social promo code. So we explain to the audience what that is first, and then we can dip yep. into it. Yep. So, um, so that's another feature within promotions. Now, um, what uh, what this allows you to do is it, again allows you to target one product or or a group of products, uh, and it kind of creates this unique uh, link with a landing page where you give somebody a coupon code anywhere between 15% to 80%. One, one thing also about the coupons, it has to be a minimum of, uh, um, sorry, the, uh, the social promo has to be a minimum of 15%. So um, what it gives you is it gives you this link and uh, the theory behind it, the reason why Amazon created it is because it allows you to give a, a coupon code without one displaying it on your page and also making it easier for people to actually redeem because they're, they don't actually have to input the coupon code when they check out. So when they go to this unique link, it's a set discount where once they add it to their cart, it gets automatically taken off at checkout from their, um, from their price. So um, it's ideal for, let's say, your email list or if you're doing Facebook ads or if you have a Facebook page where you can say to your followers, you know, hey, go to this link. Um, and you'll get 15% off automatically applied at checkout. Um, but again, that's a unique link that Amazon is creating. And so um, from what I've seen, you can't really manipulate that link. So the um, it does seem like more control on Amazon's side in terms of like things like you said, like potentially closing that loophole. Um, you know, it'll, uh, it'll be seen if that's the case or not. But um, definitely something that crossed my mind is um, you're able to give discounts and it's within sort of a, a more closed controlled system um, than just using um, coupon codes. But I do like this feature because if, if I do want to run a Facebook ad for my product, let's say, and I'm not doing it to, let's say, try to manipulate rank, I'm doing it because, you know, it's Q4, people are looking for gift ideas, I have a gift type product, I wanna do an ad on Facebook, and I wanna say, hey, click this link, and you'll automatically get 20% applied at checkout. I think what you're gonna get is a, a uh, higher conversion rate because there's less friction, right? Less steps that a, a person has to take in terms of entering the coupon code, making sure that it's working, knowing how to do it, 
um, and getting it applied to checkout, it's kind of a unique link you can give to you know followers or if you have an email list or anything like that, um, where you can um, they could just uh, use it without having to do anything to get the discount. So um, I do think it's a good it's a good feature. It's something I, I'm going to be testing this. Uh, you know, I've typically only sent external traffic for ranking purposes, um, but now during the fourth quarter, I'd like to test out this social media codes to see, you know, can I give away 25% off during Q4 um, and get still get profitable conversions, uh, you know, using this uh, social media uh, promo promos uh, code system. Yeah. So just to finish up here, let's go into the Amazons. Um, you know, there's the uh, the reach to the influencers. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Do you want to elaborate on that? Yeah. So uh, so uh, when I was at, uh, I was at an Amazon headquarters uh, recently, um, and I met with the one of the people that's running the Amazon Spark program. So if you're not familiar with Amazon Spark, if you go into your uh, Amazon app and uh, if you're a Prime customer. You can click on programs and features and you can see Spark. And Spark is essentially kind of Amazon's answer to this like shoppable Instagram, right? That a lot of brands have um, have done who are um, trying to really get influencers to post pictures of products and get people over to their website or Amazon to, to buy. So Amazon um, does have an influencer program where um, they are paying influencers to post within the Spark um, uh, app. And, uh, you know, the, these are people that already have a, a pretty good following. And so they're able to bring over their followers into Spark. Um, it's growing also. Uh, from what they told me, it's going to be soon available. Right now, it's only on iOS, going to go to Android. Um, and I think they're already testing actually on um, desktop, where right now it's only available for mobile. Um, there's a good opportunity with this because, one, if you haven't used it, you should. And you should go and post your own products there. Uh, one of the things I've done in order to not look kind of like, spammy like i'm only posting my products i've posted a mix i buy something from amazon i might take a picture of it and post it and say hey i got this cool product right and i'm kind of building a following but then i sneak in some of my own products in there yeah. too and you're so communicating well along with communications you're you're contributing to the community i'm contributing to the community because i'm not just like spamming my, my own product so that's one of the things you could do there um, but another thing you could do there is really reach out to some of those influencers that are on the spark program because you you will see some posts that will have like hashtag uh sponsored for example and so it's a good opportunity you can google these people's names a lot of them have website or they will have an instagram where you can send them a direct message and uh you know and uh try to connect with them to send them your product for free and um or pay them to post your um your product there but i do think uh i don't see a lot of sellers posting on the platform so i think it's kind of underutilized and you could even post something like um here's a coupon code 20 percent off this product the, the really cool thing about um about the program is when you put a picture of your product there you could put a lifestyle picture or, or your picture from amazon when somebody um clicks on it, they'll, it'll have a little yellow dot somewhere on the image. When they click on that yellow dot, it'll bring up the price and the review stars. And then if they click on that, it goes right to the Amazon listing. And I've posted stuff there um, and you get um, you get the amount of views that, um, so I've posted something there and it, um, I've had like 500 views on it. I've had some comments like, oh, I'm gonna buy that as a gift. I'm buying it for my kid's birthday. Um, and just a, and, you know another way to generate traffic. So I think sellers are probably not utilizing it very much. Um, and I think reaching out to influencers who are already on the program and already have a following is a good opportunity to, um, you know, to just uh, have a better reach um, for your products. And it's really, it's very targeted. It's not just social media. It's very targeted to people who are looking to discover products to buy. Um, so it's very, uh, a very targeted sort of influencer marketing that I think you could do using the Spark uh, app if you're, if you're not already doing it. Cool. So how does people sign up for this? Yeah. So, um, so basically, you know, as long as you've written a review or anything on Amazon before you already have a profile. Um, and if you have an Amazon prime account, you can go on the app and you could just start posting. Um, and you can, you know, you can comment, you can comment on influencers, you can reach out to them. So you already have it probably, uh, if you're a prime customer, it's just there on the app. So you go, go there and you can start utilizing, um, when you sign up, you choose up to five interests. That you have so you can choose things like men's fashion gift ideas technology toys so i chose kind of um a few of the things that are in my niche and you'll start seeing it on your feed so go there and start seeing the kind of posts people are um, posting what people are getting a lot of comments on and liking 
um, and then figure out what's a good strategy for me to start posting on here and getting some traction with you know the products that I post and my own products and what interests do I want to tag them under because you could tag um, you could tag up to five interests when you are posting a product um, and you will see that you just get some organic views um, and people commenting and again it's another way to showcase your product you can add coupon codes when you post something there and, and um, especially now during Q4 it's a great time um, if you have giftable type of products there's a whole tag interest that's you know gift ideas and so you can start posting your products there with you know a promo code and um, and a, you know um, under the gift ideas tag and uh, I think you'll be able to get conversions off off the strategy fantastic you again a wealth of information I look forward to getting you back on to discuss some of the data that you've collected and the results that you've had um, over the next few weeks so uh, again Guys, thank you for joining us. Lee Rand, again, thank you so much for your time. I look forward to getting you back in the show in the future. See you later. Take care. Thank you.